They usually start extremely skinny or overweight. Then, as the music goes from sad to upbeat, their progress explodes. Regardless of what you think, for many, this stuff is insanely motivating. But some body transformations seem almost too good to be true. 30 days! You think this is natural? Like there's some tricks being used, or stuff going on behind the curtain. After achieving a transformation was shocked myself. I'm here to tell you, there often is. You see, this took just one year, this under three months, and this just minutes. I guess it's time to expose this guy. The very first video I can recall exposing before and afters was by Furious Pete. At the time, internet marketers were making a fortune, selling six-pack shortcuts with some of the most misleading transformations. So most people think that I eat salads all day, I'm starving myself to maintain abs. <laughs> In reality, I actually eat like a pig. Pete demonstrated how you could go from this to this in just five hours. Firstly, you get a pump in the gym. Then you get a tan to accentuate definition. Stand in flattering downward lighting lavished in oil to add a shine. Photoshop the photo slightly and you have your after photo. Then for the before, get as bloated as possible, sit around for a few hours and pose with poor posture and bad lighting. The result is a crazy before and after, which looks like the result of months of work. Just wanted to show you guys that anything is really possible in the world nowadays and don't believe everything that you see with your eyes. But these aren't the only tricks which can be used. You could also shave your body hair to reveal more definition. Come back from an injury and gain muscle at an accelerated pace due to muscle memory. Adjust your camera settings so things look more shadowy. Add filters to your photos to highlight leanness. Dehydrate yourself like Hugh Jackman did. Yeah, finish this with dehydration, don't do this at home. Or take vasodilators to look extra vascular. Position the camera higher up to optimize proportions. Load up on carbs to make your muscles much fuller. Or, as we're seeing more and more on things like TikTok, you can now use video software to Photoshop your videos. Take this clip of me here, already using a lot of the tricks named above. Now, add some video manipulation, and the results are shocking. And this technology is only getting better. These are far from the only tricks used in body transformations, and as you can imagine, things can be quite misleading. So, was my transformation fake? Let's look at some of the tricks which went into it. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to falling off the wheel a bit during lockdown. Some personal health issues made it particularly the case. At this stage, I honestly felt a bit self-conscious about being on camera. To keep comparisons fair, I used the same unflattering lighting throughout. And instantly, I already have muscle memory on my side. As once you gain muscle, if you lose it, it's much easier to gain back. Not to mention, I stopped doing all other sports besides running, which definitely proved to help. Firstly, I maintained weight for three months. Then I bulked back up three kilograms. What can I say? I was enjoying it. Then I finished things off with a four and a half month cut. And at this stage, I decided to go for coaching to make sure things were done sustainably. Bodybuilders, influencers, and photographers alike all know the difference a professional photo shoot can make. Here is a professional photo of me. When I used to post photos like this, I would regularly get accused of drug use. Would the same people have accused me if this was the photo that I posted? Because these were taken on the same week. When in Rome, you got to do as the Romans do. So firstly, I shaved myself down like a naked mole rat. Then I went to get a tan at a nail salon outside university. Of course, I asked to go as dark as possible, not realizing I had to walk back through town looking like this. But it did make a difference. Then I did a carb load, which makes your muscles look more full. Ate some salty food to increase vascularity. Was lavished in Vaseline to add a shine. I got a pump, the lighting was optimized, camera optimized. Then imagine you just ate concrete and had to get rid. That is how hard I was tensing. And at one point, I think I even got a cramp from tensing too hard. After this, filters were applied. And that's all of the tricks which went into the transformation. If you want a more honest comparison of the before and after, then there you go. Good, but not quite as epic. After the music peaked, funnily enough, I didn't achieve physical transcendence. Things returned back to normal. I maintained leanness for around two months and then went back to a calorie surplus as that's how you're gonna best gain muscle if you're doing things naturally. 
Getting slightly fluffier might not look as cool, but I definitely felt better. The truth is, most people are not walking around like they do in their photos. 99% of the time, they're not gonna look as good. These people that you're comparing yourself to, you don't really know very well. What that means is that you see their shiny outside, but you don't see the reality of their life. If you're natural, maintaining photo shoot leanness year round is probably a horrible idea. You see, mainstream fitness would have you think the leaner you are, the healthier or the better. Now, there might be a correlation, but the shape of the graph probably looks something more like this, where being too lean can have some fairly bad consequences, like dying. Now, I wasn't lean enough to experience this. However, at the peak of my cut, my testosterone was much lower. I was always thinking about food and was significantly weaker in the gym. You can see how many people, my younger self included, could be influenced by crazily optimized transformations, falling down a rabbit hole of disordered behaviors and dysmorphia. So is every body transformation just a collection of tricks with awful negative consequences? Of course not, no. Almost all body transformations are a tale of hard work and dramatic changes. And there's one last vital point I've saved till the end, which you need to be aware of, as all of the best body transformations use this. But after such effort, it's almost like, can you really blame anyone for optimizing a photo slightly to look their best? Now, if you're looking to start in a body transformation yourself, there's plenty of free resources. Fitness never needs to be paid to play. But books or coaching from a respectable company can make the process easier. Or if you like my stuff and are a male beginner to the gym, with the main focus of making the greatest visual differences, I think you'll like the workshop I've created. The information is a synthesis of expert recommendations, with me being the presenter, leaving out the BS. The aesthetic focus programs are created by respected bodybuilding coaches, the very ones which helped me with my own body transformation. Basically, if I could go back in time to myself, this is the info I'd cover. Hopefully, what you've taken away from this is that to make dramatic change, your energy needs to be focused on the fundamentals. The temptations to stray off course will only work to hamstring you in the future. As deceptive as some body transformations can be, the naturals in the industry with the most impressive transformations all have the same mindset. In that, they're not overly optimistic or pessimistic. Rather, they're realistically optimistic about what they can achieve. Instead of being hyper-focused on the end goal, they work relentlessly on the process. This way, instead of comparing yourself to body transformation videos or blindly copying their methods, the videos are often just motivating. Please never overvalue a before and after transformation. And more importantly, don't believe everything you see on the internet.